On the left hand side of the steering wheel, we've got our phone pickup, our volume, and our mode for the stereo, which I'll show you in a second. And we've got our Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which I'll show you in a second. And then behind that, we've got our lights. So we've got indicators up and down. We've got flash towards us. I'll turn the car off, I'll put it back on again. We've got side lights, dip lights, but obviously the car will do that automatically. You've got your fog lights in between there. So I'm just checking. So we've got, with the stereo, we've got volume on that button and mute. We've got volume up and down there, we'll hold that and it will mute. And then if we go on to the radio section, which are this section. This button here will take us down. If I scale down, it will literally just take us through any presets that we've got in there at the moment. And if we want to change the mode, it's currently on DAB. I'll hold that button down and it's now changed to FM1. Now we can change to FM2 by pressing the screen there if we want to, or we can hold that button or mode button in and it will do it for us. Likewise, if we want to go back to DAB, we just press the DAB little symbol up on there. Apple CarPlay, I'll do for you completely different in a second. So leaving the main unit apart at the moment, we've got our temperature gauges here. Now every time we change the temperature, it will change up on the screen there we've got sync button so if we press the sync button we've both got the same temperatures if we don't if we unsync it we can have different temperatures either side recycled air or straight in air fan speed up and down change of mode air conditioning on or off and then the whole thing off if you want to and then we have our heated seats underneath there three different heat settings and then we've got our automatic stop start button there which if you press that it will tell you up on the screen we've got it in the main center but we've also got the little a off in the bottom corner our usb point which we'd use for charging your phone and also using your apple carplay or android auto and then your drive mode <coughs> excuse me so We've currently got down in the bottom corner there, it says Sport in green, hopefully you can read it. It's now gone into normal mode, sport mode. Okay, so you've got different modes there. You're basically gonna keep it in normal mode. I mean, the sport mode means it will hold it in gear longer. Winter means it will short shift a little bit. Um, but that's what we've got going on there. We've got another power outlet here and a cigarette lighter charging point there. Gear stick has a little squeezy button on the front. So you put your foot on the brake whenever you want to change gear, squeeze that lever, bring it back. So I'm now in reverse. When we're in reverse, we've got the screen comes up. You can see your bumper across the bottom of the screen there. And also your parking sensors come up around the car there. So as soon as you drive in, all the parking sensors come up. We're back into neutral, down to drive. Now when we're in drive, Obviously it says D on the screen there. If I move that across to the manual setting, it's now changed to one. And if I want to change the gear manually, I can just nudge that gear forward. I'm now into two. If I want to come back, I just put it back and we're in one. So that's if you want to change the gear manually, that's what needs to happen there. Okay, and now we'll, uh, we'll just go through the main unit. <laughs> 